Um, I'm looking to get adjusted. I have a lot of pain. Um, I'm very flexible, but at the same time, I encounter a lot of problems because I have a lot of dislocations frequently, mm -hmm. um, mostly in my shoulders and my hips. So, okay, just some, for some relief. All right, where's the pain at? Do you have pain right now? A little bit in my hips. Okay. When you say hips, where is that? It's like around here. Okay, on the side? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any back pain? Yes. Where? I would say my lower back. Okay. And towards the middle. How common is that pain? Do you have it every day or a couple times a week? Almost every day. Okay. Do you feel it more in the morning or at night? Um, probably more at night. Uh, what's your lifestyle like now? Do you exercise a lot? Do you stretch? Do you lift weights? I do. I lift weights. I'm also, I was a cross country runner in high school, so I still run now mm -hmm. as I can. How many miles a week do you put on, do you think? Uh, probably five to eight. All right. Do you have pain when you run? Sometimes, yep. Okay. Now, is the pain always in the, is it always centralized to your low back or hips? Do you ever have pain that runs down your legs? It's usually centralized in my hips and my lower back. Okay. Any numbness or tingling in your toes? Sometimes. Okay. Once a week, once a month? Probably once a month. Okay. All right. So do you have any upper back or neck pain? Occasionally, but it's less frequent. Okay. Any headaches? Yes. How often do you have headaches? Uh, three or four times a week. Okay. When you have a headache, where on your head does it hurt? Usually behind my eyes or the lower part of my head. Okay. The base. Do, you, do you have sensitivity to light? Yes. All right. So when you get the headache, do you feel it coming on at all? Do you feel like it's a, what yeah. do you do to make the headache better? Um, I'll drink tea, um, try to stretch a little bit. I take magnesium. Okay. What kind of tea do you drink? Um, uh, mint tea, green tea, some black tea, um, chai. Mm -hmm. So the caffeine helps? Sometimes. Okay. Does it make it worse sometimes? I wouldn't say that it makes it worse. Okay. But. All right, very good. Um, are you on any medications now? Just magnesium occasionally. Okay, no other supplements? No. Nope. Have you ever had any major trauma? Physical? Uh, I had a shoulder operation and I had a wrist operation. Okay, which side? Uh, my right side. Okay, what was the operation? I tore my labrum. Wrist, which wrist was it? Uh, my left wrist. What happened? I was cheerleading and I fell. Okay. Broke? Fracture? I fractured my scaphoid. Uh, it was a complete fracture and they took bone from the radius and inserted a screw into the scaphoid. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Is the screw still there? Yes. Any other traumas that you can remember? No, just I had a lot of problems with um, being hypermobile and having frequent dislocations. Okay, so hypermobile, so you're, you're speaking EDS? Mm-hmm. Okay, who told you that and when? Um, they, I was supposed to get tested for it back in... Like a genetic test. But they, they done I, the clinical test. Can you do that one? Can you touch your... Yeah, oh, well, I not as much with this wrist because I just had an operation on it. Oh, but, wow. Yeah. And, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, my back folds in half the whole mm -hmm. nine yards. Your back folds in half? Yes. <laughs> All right, do you crack your own back? Yeah, sometimes. It's just sometimes. Yeah. Neck, too? Yeah, all the time. All the time, Nick. Okay. All right. So do you ever have any lightheadedness? Occasionally. Okay. But occasionally, like, just like, maybe not even once a week or less than that, more than that? Maybe just once a week, yeah. Okay. Do you know when that happens? Is it from sitting to standing or laying down to standing? Is it positional related when you turn your head? Does it have to do with eating? Does it have to, do you have anything that goes with that? Maybe when I stand up too fast. Okay. Okay, very good. Just because some of the EDS stuff, sometimes the hypermobility, sometimes the extra elasticity isn't just centralized to the joints. Sometimes it also can refer to um, the blood vessels as well. So it probably worked out for you when you're a cheerleader though. <laughs> I will. I wasn't a cheerleader. I was just doing cheerleader tricks when I shouldn't have been. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the injury. Okay. Yep. Did you do anything else, like gymnastics or anything? I can do a lot of tricks just from practice and messing around. So I did some like hand balancing, but I was a swimmer and a cross country runner. Uh, okay. Do you know the details of your birth? You know, if you were born natural or cesarean? I was born natural, um, but they believe that 
because of my mom being smaller that it pushed on my hips when I was born and that's why I have hip dysplasia and hip impingement syndrome. Um, you had difficulties with your hips as a child. They, I did, but it was we didn't figure it out until high school. I was getting bruising on my hips and then I went and got them x-rayed and that's when they found the hip dysplasia. Gotcha. Okay, do you remember where the bruises were? They were actually higher up. They were like closer to like around here. Okay. Okay, very good. Have you ever been adjusted before? No. Good. How do you feel about it? Are you nervous? Excited? I'm excited, yeah. Okay, very good. All right, so let's start off with an exam and then we'll see what your spine says, okay? Okay. Is the left hip more than the right? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to do a temperature assessment with the back of my hands. You've got some fire, girl. <laughs> yeah, you're warm. This is a little warmer down here. This is the thoracic lumbar transition. Okay, now I'm gonna push a little bit deeper into the muscles. Is tender? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Lean back into my hand here. Oh my goodness, this range of motion. <laughs> okay. I was actually going to school for physical therapy, so they were all very intrigued by the hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna palpate the SI joints. Okay. Tender? Yes, definitely. Tender? Not as much. Tender? More so, yes. Tender? Not as much. So this, yeah, that. Is that more tender than this here? Yes. Okay, so let's do this. Come back into my thumb here. Do you feel a pinching or there? Yes. Let's do this. Rotate to this side here like this. Very good. Okay, now rotate to this side. Okay, straight away. Okay, look up at the ceiling, look down at the ground, look straight ahead. Mastoids higher on the right. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna measure uh, the glute folds now. So you're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings, okay? okay? We're gonna trace this to the top of the glute fold where the crease is. We're higher on the left, lower on the right, looking from the top view, they're even. So lower on the right means possible posterior and inferior rotation on the right. That's good. Good. It's 
So what does that scan for? This is a thermography, so it's um, temperature differential from right to left. Oh, wow, that's really cool. All right, so, ready? Wow. That is so cool. It does seem like it takes a lot, though, to... Mm -hmm. Ready? Well, I also can change the sensitivity of it. So now it has a different sensitivity. Wow, that's really cool. Do I have any temperature differences? You have a slight difference in the left pelvic area. That's where most of my pain is. Yeah, and all that tenderness was on the right. So we just have to put everything together. But the highest difference is at the very top right. That's where it shows up consistently. Okay, so I'm going to push into your sacrum now, okay? Okay. Okay, do you have any pain when I push there? No. Any pain here? No. Tenderness? No. Tenderness? Yes. Tenderness? No. Tenderness? Yes. Tender? Yes. Tender? Yes. Tender? No. Are you measuring at the malleolus? I am. The medial one. That. Your right is short. That confirms what we saw when we looked at your glute fibers standing. I'm going to bend your knees now. Try to let me do all the work, okay? Okay. Crosses over to become the long leg. That's good. Put a block underneath of your right hip like this. Let me do the work. Go down. Relax. Go now the left. Down. Okay, I'm going to push down again into your sacrum. Do you still feel that pain there? Still have that tenderness? How about this side? Anything there? A little bit. Okay, when I push here, do you feel it there? Yes. Here? No. When I push here, do you feel it more or less or same as the first time? Less. Good. side more right or left or same I think same
Okay, I'm going to do some stretching of your spine now. Okay. This is a gentle meningeal stretch. I'm not actually trying to stretch any muscles or ligaments here, but this is for the inside of the spine, the spinal cord, the nervous tissue itself. It feels tingly in my legs. Is that the first one often? Both sides? Yes. Where in your legs? Mm, down towards my, right above my knees and in my toes. And in your what? Toes. Is it still tingling? No. I wouldn't say it's supposed to happen, oh. but valuable clinical information nonetheless. Still tingling? No. Okay, I'm gonna see if it happens again when I um, when I use the instrument on your sacrum. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what that's telling me is that we're we're definitely having an effect with the with the instrument right on top of the SI joint, which is where you have some tenderness and some swelling. Okay, so I found a couple of things to adjust here today, Ashley. So okay. what you're gonna do is you're gonna breathe in through your nose. And then out through your mouth. I'm not adjusting you yet. Okay. I'm just following your breath down. And as we get towards the end of your breath, we're going to give a little push like that. And you can feel it starting to move already. There's still more though. So nice and gentle breathing. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. And then just following your breath down. Go ahead, keep. Good. Just like that. thoracic better but still needs to be adjusted at t6 okay so let's take care of this mid thoracic spine another deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth good gently coming down with your breath and let's just recheck here i'm just checking not pushing clear pretty easily. Okay, for this one, this is a little bit different. You're going to take a deep breath in, mm -hmm. and then um, when we get to the top of your breath as you breathe out, then we'll push, okay? Okay. Okay, so same thing. Deep breath in all the way in far as you can go. Good. Let your shoulders sink as you breathe out. Keeping your legs straight, lift your right leg in the air. Good, down. Left leg. Down. Was either of those more difficult for you? The left. Very good. 
Okay, so this is how we adjust the low back, okay? Do you ever do this one to crack your own back? Lay like this, we twist your hips? No. All right, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna use your, your leg, we're gonna bring your leg up like this, and then your hips down like this, okay. and your shoulders that way. Then we're gonna push in that direction, okay? Okay. Okay, breathing gently. Good, in through your nose, not through your mouth. Good, and out. Gonna let your shoulders come back, good. There's more, hold on. Hold on one more time, let your shoulders relax. <sighs> Laying back. Ooh. <laughs> okay, breathing. Okay, we're gonna bring the hips down, shoulders up. There's more, hold on. Lay on your back. All right, one more time. Let's make sure we got all this. We're gonna go to L5, deep breath in and out. Good, bring this down like this. Good, lay on your back. Okay, right is still short, supine. Turn your head to the right. Good, back to center. Now to the left. Back to center. Bring your left ear down to your left shoulder. Center. Bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Center. Okay. Push your head straight down into the table. Relax. Okay. All right, so let's start by loosening up your spine. Very gentle. Nice, soft breathing. Okay, I'm going to test the range of motion in your neck now. Just try to relax your head. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna adjust your neck now, Ashley. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna bring your head over to the side like this, and then I'm just gonna gently push in that direction, okay? All you have to do is breathe, and just let your head kinda of just sink into the table. Just let it drop in, just let your shoulders drop, your hips, that's perfect, right there. We don't have to go much further than this. We'll just push like that, okay? Okay. Okay, breathing in softly. Good, and out. 
Good, there's one more in there. Hold on, let your shoulders relax. Okay, so I'm gonna test where it's at first. So let your head relax. I'm gonna push into your spine. Seven, six, five, four. Good, it's all at the bottom. Good, tender? A little bit. Okay, so same thing. I'm gonna bring your head to about here this time. Okay. And then we're gonna push like that. Okay, breathing. Gentle. Good, letting it all sink in. Let your head drop, shoulders drop. Good. You've got the alpha toe. Mm -hmm. So this is organ manipulation. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ileocecal valve. We'll find the ASIS and the umbilical here. Connect the two in between. Tender? A little bit. Did you eat yet today? No. Big dinner last night? I usually work night shift, so I'm not used to being up in the morning. Gotcha. Did you eat after? Did you work last night and then eat after? I didn't work last night. I just, I, I ate before I went to bed. No bowel movement yet today? No. Okay, next is the pyloric sphincter, two inches up from the umbilical. Not as bad here. Tender? Yes. Good. We're going to do some breathing now. What I want you to do is take a deep belly breath here. Okay. Good. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Keep going. All into your belly. Breathe into your belly. Okay. Do you get reflux over? Uh, occasionally. Okay. Keep breathing, belly breathing. We're right here. Okay, now let's recheck the pyloric sphincter. Still tender? Not as much. This is all diaphragm manipulation. So you can do this yourself, actually. You can just kind of like hook underneath of your rib cage here and then do this deep belly breathing. Force that diaphragm down into your fingers. That'll increase gastric motility here if you ever feel like you're slow. Let this relax here and look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Oh, okay. It's okay. Let, the, let your elbow go here. Oh, let's let that relax here. 
feels bionic. You got, <laughs> you got some metal in there. Yeah. Let's see, scaphoid was broken, and it took out radius. Yes. All and right. then on this side, I also had broken the radius. It just wasn't as bad. You didn't tell me that. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Here's the screw right here. Let this relax. Any tenderness? No. Good here too. Mm-hmm. Lift up your head and down. And you'll wrap this around your neck here like this. This supports your spine. Nice, gentle breathing. And then we're going to pull in this direction like that. Okay, Ashley? Okay. Good. Breathing in. Good. And out. Good. Ooh. <laughs> How's that? I felt good. All right, let's pick this up. Let's see, how do you feel? Good. How do your hips feel? A lot better. Good. Uh, walk around a little bit, take it for a test drive. Let's see how it feels when you're moving. I feel a lot more even. Just like that. Good, there's one more in there. Hold on, let your shoulders relax. Gently coming down with your breath. Okay. And then there's this really weird thing that I can do. Okay. Oh my goodness. That is crazy.